Like here in a green country, Emma. Well, Justin, we are finally starting to see some widespread rainfall, and you can really see that on our Wade's RV cam. So just be cautious as you head out the door and you have to drive in these conditions because some heavy to pretty much constantly going to be heavy here, at least for our area. Occasionally, maybe some moderate rain, but all this widespread conditions just now started entering green country. This is part of Wade's RV weather camera network. Now, as we look into our downtown cam, we just see very low clouds, just the thick cloud coverage is really going to impact those temperatures for us. We're looking around 54 degrees right now, and we're really not going to warm up too much with at least very calm easterly winds. Looking at least across green country right now, we are starting to see temperatures slowly in the 60s further towards the northeast, but low 50s areas that are starting to see lots of that heavy rainfall. So continuing to track the past 24 hours, we really started to see just a, a little bit over an inch in Okmogee, Baristo, Pawnee. Those areas are going to continue to see between one to two more inches on top of this as this uh, rain fall continues to push through now total as we continue to track not only today's rainfall but tomorrow's rainfall as of now it looks northeast you're not going to get too much rain most of that continues to stay at least to further towards this uh, Tulsa area further towards the south so just something to keep in mind thankfully right now areas that desperately need that rain are starting to see some of that in areas shaded right now in yellow that's that heavy rain that is slowly pushing its way here across Tulsa metro as of now any thunderstorms embedded with these storms are sticking around further towards our southern counties and far towards the Red River. Even areas in Texas, they're actually going to be dealing with the severe weather threat for today. For, thankfully, here in green country, we're not dealing with any severe weather. We're really just dealing with some much needed rain. Looking a little bit closer across the metro, we're starting to see some heavy rain slowly starting to push in. So this is just a heads up. If you do have to head out the door, just be cautious and drive it carefully. As we continue to track out the remainder of your afternoon, this is going to continue to push further towards the, the east. Now, as we go in through around 530, We'll continue to slowly start to see maybe a few breaks. That'll then just be very light uh, to moderate rainfall. Most of that really sticking further towards our southern counties, very isolated to scattered. That'll then continue on overnight. And we're really, that's going to be the case even into your Thursday. Thursday afternoon, we could continue to see some rain showers in the area. But by around 3, 4 o'clock is when we'll start to slowly calm down, maybe even see a few peaks of sunshine. As we go into Friday morning, we are tracking those dry conditions. Most Mostly cloudy temperatures still struggling in the upper 60s. Friday night into Saturday, we do.